Hello guys, it's Johnny Time and welcome to another DeFi tutorial. In this video today, I'm going to share with you my exact strategy of how I'm deploying and going to deploy capital to DeFi in 2024 to make thousands of dollars every month. Also, I'm going to share some of my experience from the previous DeFi summer, from the previous cycle. I got really burned in different protocols and I had a lot of lessons and I also shifted and focused on Web3 security. So now my mindset and approach and risk assessment is completely different from the previous cycle, but I still deploy capital to DeFi because there are so many opportunities to make your money work for you and print more money while you sleep. And in this video, I'm going to share all these alpha and all these strategies that I'm going to use as someone who participated in so many bull markets, in so many cycles, in previous DeFi cycle, and a technical smart contract security auditor and developer. So without further ado, let's get started. First, some background. So I don't know at which point you joined this channel, whether you subscribed on 2021 in last DeFi summer or 2022 or 2023, when I released smart contract hacking and security tutorials, or maybe you are not subscribed. By the way, if you're not subscribed, this is your time now to click the subscribe button to get alpha content. Anyways, long story short, so I used a lot of DeFi protocols in the last DeFi cycle. I provided liquidity on PancakeSwap. I was long cake. I was long DeFi farming inflationary tokens. And I learned those lessons on my flash. I lost a lot of money. I had a lot of money in Terra UST and lost a lot of money in Terra UST. So basically, I learned all the lessons of DeFi crypto investor that you can learn. Also, some of the protocols that I deployed capital to got hacked. And that's why I basically decided to get into Web3 security. I saw so many hacks in the space, so much money being stolen. And I decided to took my cybersecurity skills and expertise and focus them through to Web3 security. So that's why I made a smart contract hacking course and created a lot of tutorials on this YouTube channel about smart contract hacking and security. And you can say that I'm PTSD from the last cycle because I really lost a lot of money in different DeFi protocols, most of the money in Terra and UST and inflationary farming protocols. You can go in this channel and see all my tutorials about PancakeSwap, about Mirror, about Terra and Anchor. And yeah, I was there. I was talking about where my money was. If I made a tutorial about PancakeSwap, I was in PancakeSwap. If I teach you how to use Miro protocol on Terra, UST, I did that. I held stock on Miro protocol. I staked money, UST, in Anchor, and I lost a lot of money there as well. You have to learn on your own body to get better. And I'm coming to this cycle different. And I overcome my PTSD PTSD from the previous cycle, and I'm going to share my strategy in this DeFi spring 2024. So first thing first, I have exposure to stable coins, I have exposure to Bitcoin, and I have exposure, exposure to Ethereum, the most blue chips that you can say. I don't have Sol, I don't have, I don't know, Moonbag, Doge, Shiba Inu, all these kind of meme coins. I'm not in this party. I'm not partying and celebrating in this meme coin club. I'm just, you know, old school grandpa holding Bitcoin, Ethereum and stable coins. Well, my stable coins are losing value due to inflation and my Bitcoin and ETH are, were not generating yield until one month ago. But then I got back into DeFi and there are so many incredible strategies that I'm going to share with you here in this channel as well. But now I approach it a bit differently. So DeFi is very much alive, but how do you know on which protocols to deploy, on which chains to hold your assets? How do you do your diligence before you put capital into a DeFi protocol? I have my rule set, my ethics, right? So my approach is stick to safe protocols and safe chain. How do I know which are safe protocols? First, battle tested protocols, right? We never had a hack on Uniswap V2. We never had a hack on Uniswap version 3. That's why I would be more than happy to deploy my capital 
to Uniswap version 3 to concentrate the liquidity protocols, right? I'm not going to deploy my capital into crazy weird forks like, I don't know, Humus Swap or Kebab Swap or I don't know, whatever, Bani Swap, you name it. I'm going to deploy only my capital to battle tested protocols, to Uniswap version 3, to Pancake Swap, to protocols that are here for a while. They never got hacked. They never went bankrupt. These are the protocols that I'm going to use. I'm going to lend my stable coins and ETH and Bitcoin on Aave because it's here for a while. It never got hacked to compound, to make your DAO to die. I'm not going to go to all these exclusive DeFi protocols, right? All these thousand percent APR or APY, unless I assign maybe one or two or three percent of my portfolio to go to these exclusive places, exclusive protocols, exclusive high crazy yields. But I still want to make those yields on stable coins, on ETH, Bitcoin, not going to get exposure to meme coins, not going to get exposure to inflationary farm tokens. So this is my first rule in the ethics of DeFi 2024. Now, let's say you want to deploy capital to protocols that are different from the ones I mentioned before, that are less battle tested, that are newer, more innovative, you have higher yields there, then I would do my due diligence very, very carefully. First, I will check if these protocols got audited and by which auditing firms. My most favorite auditing firms are auditing competitions. So if I deploy capital to some kind of new stablecoin that is minted out of nowhere, ahem, ahem, Terra Luna UST, I will never do that. I will only deploy capital to a protocol that was audited by multiple firms that went through an audit competition, whether it's Coderina or Sherlock. And you know, the TVL is quite high. Also, I'm only going to hold stable coins that are collateralized, like DAI, right? Because I'm not going to go into algorithmic stable coins. Definitely not. I learned my lesson with UST, with Luna. It was a very expensive lesson. A lot of UST I lost. So only DAI, only centralized stable coins, USDC, USDT, this kind of BUSD that are backed up by big firms, by big entities, Circle, Tether, Binance, not going to put into UST kind of algorithmic stablecoin bullshit anymore. So I will check the protocol, check if the stablecoin is collateralized, if it has assets that back the value of the stablecoin, and I will check if the protocol went through audits in Code Arena, preferably. Another thing that I'm going to do in this DeFi uh, spring 2024 is not put all my assets in one basket. I'm going to diversify. Some of my assets going to go through lending protocols. I'm going to lend my stable coins, earn nice 15%, 20% APY on my USDC, DAI, USDT. Some of my liquidity will go to liquidity provisioning in Uniswap version 3 with good strategies, with high paying volume pairs with low amount of TVL so I can enjoy those juicy fees and yields. And some of my capital will go to the more extreme, exotic, juicy APRs, kind of aerodrome, velodrome, these kind of protocols that I will show you in this channel. But I will create a portfolio that is diversified in terms of risk management and in terms of capital. Your stable coins, whether if you have some USDC that you want a competition in Code Arena, they are just lying there and losing money to inflation. You can generate 20%, 30% a year on these stable coins, and they can literally print more money while you sleep, just depositing them to make your DAO or to Aave or to Compound. So I'm going to show you exactly how to do this in this channel, how to generate even sometimes 50% or 70% return, yearly return on your dollars, sometimes 100% of Bitcoin and Ethereum. And I'm going to share all my risk ass assessment before I show you a new strategy. So if you want to learn with me and join this journey with me, make sure to subscribe to this channel, turn on the notification button, and I will see you in the next tutorial, which is going to be more technical, tactical strategy of how I generate X yield on Bitcoin, how I generate Z yield on Ethereum, and how I generate maybe $10,000 a month on my stablecoins. If you enjoyed this video, smash the like button. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.